What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and in today's video we have a very unique PC build right next to me. It's something that I've always wanted to come to market for years now, it's something I always dreamt about where the PC market would eventually start to shift to, but it never really happened until today. I'm sure a lot of you are going to love this. We're going to be checking out the Gigabyte Aorus Project Stealth PC. And as you can see now, you'll probably start to notice there are no visible cables, minus the AIO, of course. But in today's video, that almost fell. Let's not pull a Linus in the intro. In today's video, we're going to go through the Project Stealth PC, show it all off, show what Gigabyte's doing here that makes it so stealthy, and obviously sort of change it up a bit, do some mods, mix it up with a vlog style, get ready. All right, so before we begin, I already picked up a new CPU cooler. This is from Deepcool, and instead of an AIO, I wanted to go more with the traditional, you know, air cooler and stuff, because this just is, I think it's going to look so much cleaner on the inside to complement the whole stealth build. But now let's bring it over to the other side of the setup, because I really want to take it apart and see what they're doing on the inside. So this is a look at their Project Stealth DIY PC kit. In this unit here, inside the C300G Stealth case, we have their Z690 Aorus Elite DDR5 Stealth motherboard, an Intel i9-12900K, 32 gigs with their Aorus RGB RAM, and their RTX 3070 Gaming OC Stealth GPU. With the proprietary Stealth case, the Stealth motherboard, and the Stealth 3070, those three are what work together as the Project Stealth and are all proprietary components really for this build. But taking off the back panel, I want to get a good look first at how they have this all, you know, routed and stuff behind it so we can see where all the magic is happening because really it all starts behind here. This back panel is really going to tell us and show us a lot about how they pulled this off. All right, so this is super interesting and not what I expected at all, given it's a whole proprietary system pretty much with this stealth motherboard and the case, the way it's all cut out on the back is super unique and honestly like would make PC building and cable management in the future for all builds so, so much easier. Like even the F panel pins, take a look at where this is. It's just right there exposed on the bottom. No longer would you have to like really try to figure out what you're doing with a flashlight and because it's those those suck. Those are the worst to do because it's such a little small cramped area, but here open exposed. The little motherboard battery also on the backside, usually hidden behind the graphics card or a shroud here, easily accessible. All your fan headers, your RGB headers, all the cables just like it should be easy to access on the back open space. This is just absolutely wild, like in the best of ways. I don't really know what I was expecting. You know, I did zero research going into it. They just pitched me the idea what they were making. And I was like, yeah, I definitely want to check it out. This is what I've been hoping for for years now. But I didn't think it would be this intuitive and like just easy. <laughs> All right, so just to show you real quick, I pulled out the GPU. That process is no different than uninstalling any other graphics card. But on this Stealth 3070, you'll see in the front, there's obviously no connectors here for the cables to power this. They instead are on the back side, since that's how it routes out the back of the motherboard shroud and back to the case. So again, given the Stealth theme, that makes complete sense. But it's still just mind blowing that like, why haven't other graphics cards done this before to make the whole cable routing process still that much easier. Like it seems just so obvious at this point. I assume going forward, more companies will do this because there's no real reason not to, right? As you can see here, the cables still lead to the back cutout of the case and more GPUs could do that in the future. I really don't see a reason why not to considering all cases and motherboards pretty much have a gap there anyways, which leads to the back of the case. So. Another thing I want to do, as I mentioned in the beginning, is swap out the AIO that came with this case from Gigabyte. It's their Aorus Waterforce X240, and for a stealth build that emphasizes stealth and no visible cables, the AIO is just not doing it for me. I want the cleanest possible appearance, and ditching those two large braided tubes will definitely do that. 
One thing I want to do just to, you know, keep the airflow going is since I'm swapping the AIO it came with, I'm going to take both of the fans that were on here. They were both uh, 120 mil and they had RGB. So I'm going to put them back on that front panel again to continue that airflow and stuff. But I'm not going to hook up the RGB cables and stuff because I don't need the RGB. So I'll be repurposing this in a way or just using the fans but the new cooler we have also has two fans as well so think of it as addition by subtraction right now as i mentioned right after the intro i picked up a deep cool air cooler this is the ak 400 zero dark plus and i think the design of this is just the perfect fit when it comes to you know the stealth goal that i have in mind we have the two 120 millimeter fans, so in terms of airflow, it's gonna help keep it all flowing nicely on the inside. Keep it on 12900K cool as well. And the cooler is only $45, so super great price for this. Then just like that, getting it installed and hooked up, yes, this is much, much more what I had in mind when it comes to that stealth build. It looks so much better now completed without the AIO tubes. You know, the stealth motherboard hides so much as it is with those shrouds and all the connectors on the back. Seeing it completed, it reminds me of the NZXT motherboards from a few years ago. You know, those were super clean, but this takes it to a whole new level now. Hot damn. All right, it's been a long day. System up and running. Super pumped to check it out. Gonna probably wait till tomorrow now. I'm gonna install a bunch of games so I can benchmark it and stuff, but it's late. It's like midnight right now. All that's gonna take a few hours, so I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, so it's the next day now. Admittedly, it's about 20 something hours later because I spent all day gaming on this. So it's actually nighttime right now. And I've gotta say, my day with this has been nothing short of awesome. I'm super impressed with the whole build of what Project Stealth pulls off. And I'm sure a lot of you can agree with me. It's like, this all just seems so simple in execution and just right that it just leaves me wondering, like, why has anything like this existed before? Because everything here just makes so much sense. Like, you know, the connectors on the back of the graphics card. Yeah, 100%, that's how it should be. So that way there's no cables dripping down in the front. All the motherboard connectors on the back side, so, so much easier because now if you want to swap components, you don't have to take out your graphics card because it's in the way of something. It's all on the back. The modularity of this is amazing. So yes, like I said, been gaming all day with this. Gigabyte also sent out their M32 UC monitor. It's 32 inches, 4K, looks stunning. And at 144 hertz, when you pair it with the specs of this PC, it's just all around killer. I spent the majority of my day playing the new Battlefield update or the more recent one. And even though I'm still very disappointed in the new Battlefield 2042, it's, it's slowly getting there, you know? Update by update, but yeah, looks great on this monitor. It's actually my first time playing the new Battlefield at 4K because I'm always used to just playing it on my 3440 by 1440p ultra wides. And you know, combining it with like DLSS, it looks super good still and runs a lot better than I thought it would, honestly. Uh, but again, the specs of this build, especially with that 3070, it handled it just fine. So as we round this one out, gonna address a few things that I wanted to talk about with the whole project stealth as it is. And the first thing is, you know, obviously I swapped out the stock AIO with a more, I feel like, you know, stealthy, appropriately themed cooler here because it just seems to fit the overall theme, I think. The stock AIO is fine, nothing wrong with it, but I feel like it just defeats the purpose of this super clean internal build with the two massive tubes inside, you know? Like it was immediately an eyesore and takes away of the whole no cables build. So that's the main reason why I wanted to swap it out. Now, also with the name Project Stealth, you know, you'd like it to be completely blackout, right? Stealthy, matte black, all that. And there's a fair bit of RGB on the case with the RAM, the cooler, given depending on what components you go with, that will all sort of vary. But to their credit, they do have this button up top, which lets you immediately kill all RGB on the case. So again, if you don't have RGB components and stuff on the inside, uh, you can have that no RGB look at literally the click of a button. So lastly, let's talk availability because there's two different ways you can pretty much, you know, configure this and get it in your hands. So 
First up, the Project Stealth as a whole is available as a bundle with the case, the graphics card, and the motherboard. That's the components that they supply to you through Gigabyte. And I actually just checked on Amazon right now. It's literally $600. Again, for the case, the motherboard, and the GPU. So really, not too, too bad. Yeah, still like kind of pricey, but you figure out you're getting you know, a bulk of the components here and it's that whole stealth approach with the no cables. And with the proprietary motherboard here and the case, that's gonna allow you to use any other components you want um, in addition to, you know, what they already supply you and then have this real nice stealthy look. So that does mean, yes, you're gonna have to buy your own CPU, your own RAM, your own cooler, your power supply, all that. But the bundle of the three, 600 right now on Amazon, really not too bad overall. Uh, but Main Gear is actually a company they are partnering up with, and they are having a full out, you know, configuration, a pre built with the Project Self component that you can go in and deck it out and build it, you know, accordingly to what you want or what you uh, play and stuff. So that's all from Main Gear separately. So you do have those two options, whether going through the bundle and then completing it yourself or just getting it all pre made through Main Gear. But that's why I said before, like, you know, depending on your RAM and your cooler and stuff, the RGB could kind of change up the stealth look. But again, you don't even need that. Uh, you could pick your own components because it's just the three that comes with the Project Stealth bundle. I actually wanted to swap out the RAM, so it was all black, you know, no RGB inside, but I didn't have any non-RGB DDR5 RAM, and I could just turn it off in software anyways. So not a big issue there. But all in all, this, is really phenomenal. And like I said, there's nothing really like this on the market that does something that I've always wanted to see in the PC market that never really came to happen until now. And seeing the execution, it's just like, yes, it all makes so, so much sense. Why hasn't the PC building market been like this for years now? And the plus side is, now that it's out there, you know how it is with the, the league and the market. It's a copycat league with pretty much everything, right? Give it a few months and we're gonna see other competitors, other companies, hopefully starting to copy this and transform the way cases and motherboards are built. So we can have this much more clean, stealthy approach that is perfect. It's done so, so well. Gotta give it up to Gigabyte here and the Oris Project Stealth PC. Um, I love this thing. And like I said, I'm sure a lot of you out there are 100% on board and can appreciate this build as well. So if you wanna check it out, I'll have the links for you in the description down below, as well as the Gigabyte monitor they sent over. Because again, that M32UC has been a beauty to game on and you bundle these two together like that and you're gonna have a hell of a gameplay experience. So all right guys, that'll wrap it up for the beautiful project stealth build. I want to hear your thoughts down below. Like drop it in the comment section. Are we on the same page with this? Is this not everything we want and can look forward to potentially in the future from the PC building market? I mean, I, f I feel like this is 100% where it's going to go. So I want to hear all your thoughts. Drop them in the comment section down below. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.